Woohoo! Finally managed to get the MacBook Air 2017 upgraded. The SSD from 128GB to 256GB. Let's get started. See, the reason that why we purchase a lower end, a cheaper model, 1 to 8 gigabyte storage is we want to save money. It's obviously, if you were to get for the 1 to 8 gigabyte version, you can save uh, upfront 300 Singapore dollars. That's a tons of money. If you, 300 dollars can get like a very good, huge SSD uh, today. Well, that strategy from Apple. Kudos to the management people. Long live the king. Well, now I'd like to talk about the uh, SSD that I've chose for this upgrade. I decided to go with Samsung PM961, which is an OEM version of the 960 Evo. You are paying a fraction of the price, just a slight performance uh, penalty according to the website you won't notice at all and uh, let's take a look at the uh, facts and figures so here, here are some of the facts and figures with this SSD we are getting uh, close to 3000 megabits per second and right up to 1007 per second but uh, in practical I couldn't uh, hit that amount let me show you what I got Alright, so uh, uh, I use Black Magic Design to, for the this bad match. As you can see, the, the write speed is close to 1002 megabits per second, whereas the read is 1004 megabits per second. Hooray! Now we come to the gist of the topic on upgrading SSD. So, to upgrade a MacBook Air 2017, you need an adapter uh, in order to uh, for, for the MacBook Air to recognize your uh, NVMe SSD uh, it's a very different propriety uh, PCI SSD as I mentioned earlier if you were to just purchase an uh, off-the-shelf SSD NVMe it, doesn't, it won't work at all so you, what I got here is that I, I bought a piece of adapter from, uh, from the manufacturer with the brand Syntec it's available at the main zone so uh, I read some of the reviews some uh, the chances of success is just 50 50 so I took a bet and tried it uh, it works in my case but it does I don't guarantee that it might works in yours so uh, just give it a try and let me know leave your comments down in the video below so at least we know whether it works or not thank you Now, let's like take note, uh, before we re replace the SSD, we have to remove the battery connector so that to avoid uh, accidentally short-circuiting the board. This is the adapter that I bought. And here is the close-up view of the adapter. I must say that you have to work with these uh, uh, devices with care. All you need is to push very gently, insert all the way into the adapter, and the adapter in, you have to insert all the way into the slot. Fit it snugly. Now I'm going to show you a close up. Yeah. All right. Once uh, you have installed the SSD, uh, remember to. Uh, plug in the uh, battery connector and uh, finally just put the casing back and screw it so uh, that's all for now for this video uh, 
I hope uh, you have success with your upgrading of your SSD. Please leave comments below. Uh, click the video like if you like it and subscribe. And see you next time.